In this screencast, I'm going to show you an awesome tool called Viwi, which automates the creation of virtual machine images that you can use with Vagrant. I'm assuming that if you're watching this, that you already know what Vagrant is. But if you don't, please go to www.vagrantup.com and learn more about that. Otherwise, this screencast probably isn't going to make that much sense to you. Now, when you first start using Vagrant, you're probably going to start by using canned base boxes from the internet, such as one called Precise32. But where do these boxes come from? Who created them? And more importantly, how can you trust what's on them? After all, if the point of Vagrant is to allow you to create reproducible development environments, shouldn't that promise of reproducibility extend to these boxes as well? That's really where VWE comes in. It allows you to automate the creation of base boxes using a simple definition language. Let's look at what one of these definition files looks like. So as you can see, the definition file defines all the parameters of the installation, including how much memory should be provisioned, 512 megabytes, you know, where to get the ISO file from, and so on. Right? VWE also provides a basic web server to the installation routine so that in this particular situation, Fedora can use a kickstart to uh, install the operating system. So after the installation completes, uh, one or more post install scripts can run, which is what I'm showing here. Every vagrant base box basically has to conform to an API. So it has certain characteristics that it has to follow in order to qualify as a proper base box. For example, there's got to be Chef and Puppet installed because Vagrant has provisioners for those things. And they must have a user called Vagrant with a password called Vagrant and so on. So that's what this post install script does. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this box. So I've already downloaded the ISO file for Fedora, so we don't need to wait around for that, but basically otherwise VW would offer to download it for you. So as you can see, what VW is going and doing is it's creating a new uh, virtual box virtual machine, and it's actually gonna now type commands that you defined in the definition file at the bootloader, as we can see here, to actually start the kickstart install, right? It's passing the web server that it's just emulated, and now Fedora is going to start a regular unattended kickstart install. So, you know, the actual OS installation procedure isn't all that interesting, so I'll just fast forward through right to the end where we run the post install script. Great, so now Fedora is installed through VWE, and as you can see, it was basically polling on the SSH port being open, and what it's going to go through now and do is run the post install script that we defined earlier. And again, maybe not the most interesting information shown here, so I'll just skip right through the post install procedure and show you what happens at the end. Great, so as you can see, the post install script has finished running and it's gone and installed everything that we need on the system and the box creation is complete. But what we want to do is we want to validate our box to make sure it actually meets Vagrant's requirements, keeping in mind what I said earlier about having to have the Vagrant user on there, have Chef and Puppet installed, and so on and so forth. So VW has a, a validate command that comes with, with it so you can do that validation. Great, so the validation passed, it has the user, the user can sudo, it has Ruby, it has Chef and Puppet, right? And it has a shared folder that you can pass data back and forth uh, when you actually use this box. So what we can do now is we can bundle this box. What this does is it's going to shut down the virtual machine and then it's going to use the vbox manage command to create a copy of this box. And there you have it. There is a box file here 
um, and VW, that VW has automated the process of creating and you can now import this directly into Vagrant like you would from a box that you got off the internet and uh, now you know exactly what's on this box and how it was created. So that's the end of the demonstration. Thanks very much for watching.